Well, guess I'm back at it again with this pre-order shit. Fun! So the Sonic Frontiers pre-order things. Uh, it's not as bad as Scarlet and Violet's set, but I feel like it's a waste anyway because the things you can get, you can literally just get maybe about an hour into playing the game, probably. I don't know, maybe. But I took a look at it real quick and I was looking, I'm like, well, this is kind of weird. Why would you just give away this stuff that you can get in like an hour of gameplay? It's like, what we got here? We got skill points, red seeds of power, blue seeds of defense. I mean, sure, okay, but like skill points? How many skill points do give you specifically? I think enough that you can, again, it's just... I'm just rambling. So it's like, this looks like enough stuff you can just get after like an hour of playing. I don't think you need to have to pre-order to get extra skill points like that. I mean, it maybe help you out early game, but like, it's really gonna matter kind of later on in the game. Probably, probably not. But most likely to me, it doesn't really matter at all. So here's what you get for Sonic Frontiers as pre-order bonus. You get the Adventurous Treasure Box. Okay. What's it got? It's got skill points, it's got the red seeds of power, and the blue seeds of defense. Which, I don't know anything about what those things do in-game, but it's probably something that helps you out. Maybe the red seeds of power can give you like an extra boost, maybe in power and strength, I guess, and the blue seeds of defense just helps your defense go up. I mean, do you buy these in-game? Is it like, you know, in-game currency? You can just get more of those things, and that's why they give you more as a pre-bonus, uh, pre-order bonus? Maybe? And the skill points thing, however, uh... Yeah, I don't know about that one, Chief! It, it looks like you could just get enough skill points after like maybe an hour of gameplay. You don't really need that. You know, you only need to spend like extra $20, $30, how much, however it costs. I don't know. On extra skill points, if you could just get by just grinding in the game, maybe less than an hour, if you're just that deep into the game, deep into playing early on like that, you're just like, yeah, I'm gonna. Let me make sure I get all these skill points right here. Here we go. Oh yeah, I got like thousand skill points and I even need to spend on that pre-order bonus. Oh yeah. <laughs> the hell was that? Now, that's only if you get the digital version. If you get the physical version, however, you get actual physical things. So, Sega does what Nintendo... Hey, we're bringing it back! Sega does what Nintendo slash what Pokemon Company don't. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But, I mean, I don't see any physical things coming out for Scarlet and Violet for the American releases. There's still no physical releases for the American versions of the game, are there? Just the Japanese versions? Just the European versions only? Okay. Totally understandable. Totally understandable. Whatever. It's all good. It's all... It's okay. It's all okay. I'm not worried at all. Why am I be worried? I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried. <laughs> well, if you get the digital deluxe version, however... Did I just say... Digital Deluxe version? Wait, what about the physical version? Did you get to see? Oh my god. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is the physical version, you only just get the Adventurous Treasure Box. But the regular digital version, you get the Adventurous Treasure Box as well. But the, you want everything? You want everything? You better buy that Deluxe Digital Edition. How much does that cost, huh? 70 bucks. Damn, bro. 60 bucks for the full game? Well, you know, not bad, I guess. It's, uh, 60 bucks, huh? Ooh, it's a bit steep. Ah, I don't know. $70, though, for the pre order? Okay, maybe. Uh, it does come with a steel book, though, in the CD, so I guess it's worth the extra 10 bucks. Not bad. Not bad, but still could be a bit better. A lot better. Alright, so y'all gotta see this stuff, right? Pre order the game to get the Avengers Treasure Box. That's just the digital edition, right? But the digital deluxe edition, you get all the coolness, but like, you get even more stuff. Well, coolness, no, no, no. But you get the more stuff, you get Explorer, uh, Explorer, fuck! The Explorer Treasure Box, you get Amy's Memory Tokens, whatever that does. A Poro Gear, whatever that's supposed to do. Chaos Emerald Vault Key, focus, dang it. Ka Stop, focus. Chaos Emerald Vault Keys, okay, interesting. And additional gloves and shoes for Sonic. Oh, what kind of gloves and shoes, huh? Maybe this is a Sonic Prime tie-in? I, I doubt that, but yeah. But this caught my eye as well, like, when I first saw this. A digital art book with a 25-track digital mini soundtrack. Now, this is a steel book. That's the steel book right there. Which is not so bad, actually. But, you know, a couple more physical items would be nice, other than just, you know, these things, and then these things you only just get in-game, which, you know, I don't know if this is worth 10 bucks extra. Maybe this is worth, like, uh, I would say $7, not really necessarily 10 but, uh, what's what say you? What, you know, you know, that's, that's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. As for the subscription thing now, hey, we get the soap shoes if you subscribe! Sign up by January 31st, 2023, you get the soap shoes! 
That's freaking cool, but you know, I'm okay, I don't need to subscribe to this. Someone just mod these in, in the PC version, I'll just get the PC version and get these in there instead. I don't, I don't like to subscribe like that, I don't know, I just don't feel like doing that stuff. Focus! Dang it! They probably thinking like, oh come on Classic, stop being so hard on them for doing this. It's not so bad compared to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's pre or stuff, you get freaking berries. Yeah, it, like, give or take. Yeah, I know it's not so bad and you're probably like, it's they give you a steelbook. They give you a mini CD soundtrack, you know, what's so wrong with having a steelbook? We need, we need physical items, just like you said, you want physical items, right? Which is, yes, that's like I said, I want physical items, but like, compared to what the Japanese pre-order is, they get a lot more physical items that I think the entire world should just get. <laughs> what? I'm going mad. I'm, I'm going mad. I'm going mad here. I'm going mad. Here it comes. I'm about to go mad. I'm about to go mad. Here it comes. Here it goes. Here's what got me mad a little bit more when I saw it. A little slightly upset. The steelbook differences compared to when you buy them from GameStop to Best Buy. Guess what you get? The only difference in the steelbook is the cover. That's it. The end. Go home. Best Buy steelbook cover? GameStop steelbook cover. Bro, what is the meaning of this? Why? What is the why? Why? Why just the difference in the steelbook? What this is all the this is all the same. This is all the same. You get nothing different from buying it. Oh, but guess what you get for the Japanese version? Guess what you get? Boop boop boop. Oh, what's that? This boy right here? Oh, what's this? More standees of the characters and stuff like that? Oh, 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 uh, uh, oh, oh, an art book. Oh. You get a whole freaking art book. You get a whole freaking art book. Look how sick that is. You get the. Look at this. This is so freaking cute. You get the guys. What are they called again? I forgot what they're called, but like, bro, you gotta be kidding me. This is a sin, bro. We don't get that. What are they called again? A Coco. Coco, that's what they're called. What was this? What's this? In Japan, fans are able to get more than just a steelbook of their copy of physical game. Yeah. Uh, wait. Oh, you, oh, wait, wait. Uh, I take back what I said about you only get the cool stuff about the, like, the steelbook if you get just the digital version. Um, yes, that makes sense for you to get the physical version as well. You probably don't get... Oh, maybe there's like a physical, like, deluxe edition that comes out as well that I didn't even know about and didn't recognize, so... My bad. I'm sorry about that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm seeing it there. Boo! This is so cool. We don't get this. Boo! 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 Anyway. Wait, wait, wait. I just made a realization. I just remember what a steelbook fucking is. It's just a variation of the, of the box art. That's all it is. So you want to spend $70 for an alternate version of the box art and then just a few things you can probably get in game that would probably take you like an hour to get something like that, probably? Is that all you get? It's just a different box? All right. Well, you get, yeah, this makes sense. I see it right now. Pre-order, you get the Steelbook variant. I'm assuming the Steelbook probably has like the actual game box inside of it, you know. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. The, the only difference cannot just be a freaking steelbook box art like that. That's all you get. $70 you pay for box art and things you can get in game in like an hour and maybe an hour and a half. Oh, here comes the rage. It's coming on now. Here it is. It took me 10 minutes, 20 minutes, but I'm finally here. Oh, no, 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 no. And the Japan exclusive ones, you get art, art of Sonic Frontiers, you get the Coco uh, pencil sharpener, what is it? No, it's not a pencil, a pencil case. You get a pencil case, you get um, some little more Coco, like little Coco um, little things. It's like, I think they're plushies, I think they are plushies. And you get little standees of, of Sonic gaming, Tails and Knuckles, and the cyberspace teleporter thing, and a little, little set right there. That's what you get. You get an art book! You get an art book! Bro, an art book should just come with everything. Why can't an art book just come with everything? Oh, here we go, they're acrylic stands. They're acrylic sand. That's what they are. Gotcha. Shoot, I think I'm gonna buy the Japanese pre-order stuff eventually. After all, maybe. Ha! <sighs> Wait, limited and deluxe editions. Yeah, limited edition, deluxe edition, limited edition. They different so. Oh, okay. The deluxe edition comes in with the box art, custom stuff like that. Okay, gotcha. Wow, it's actually gotten so crazy with the uh, uh, deluxe edition, the limited version with the the acrylic set. Uh, it's sold out on Amazon, so it must be that good. Yeah, man. Well, this sucks. I'm done here. I think. I think I've. I think I've said enough things. What do we get in America? We and, and Europe as well. Europe. You're not out of this, unfortunately. You get the bad stuff too. You get just a steel book with things you can get in game. Congratulations. We're sharing uh, common trash now, I guess, with this game. We're sharing the one thing that's like commonly trash, maybe. And that's just the. Uh...
The pre-order stuff. Oh well. Uh, I'm done here. Just want to talk about this like I did with the Pokemon one. Th this could be better. It's not a great. Well, we could have got we could have got a, a Sonic figure. We could have got a figure of Sage. Hey, we could have gotten our own art book. Why don't we get our own little art book, huh? Why don't we get like some actual physical things? We could get like a little tiny plushie of Amy, of Knuckles, and Sonic and Tails as well. Maybe a plushie of the Cocos. Come on, I I should be a marketing guy. <laughs> I should be in charge of this stuff. However, I'm done here now. See y'all later in the next one. Bye.